Don't worry, you haven't missed anything at the moment. The match is gonna start in 3, 2, 1, 0. Round time has changed and we are ready to go. Taking it away with Lord in the first round on the A defense. Sprint Fox starts sneaking right away, making their way into the A apartments. Lord is in the back of CT spawn together with Taz. Taz is one of the two players on ESC with a defuse kit. Neo on B is making his way towards. A already. The CTs scouted out where the terrorists are going and they decide to storm in really fast. Get the plant down. T-Sac throws out a nade and nobody got killed as of yet. The CTs are playing for the retake. Pressure down to 41 HP. Cube goes around the corner, gets a fast headshot onto Major. Lord peeks out of CT spawn, sees three players in front of him, takes on one patch and Neo takedown, another two and Cuban blows up the last one alive with a nade. ESC win this round in a convincing fashion, only four um, players stayed alive for them. They take the lead 1-0. to zero. And start off pretty good into that half. It's always nice for the terrorists to win the CT, um, to win the pistol round, I, I should say. Because the CTs have to save one more round. Then the terrorists have to. And Robin is about to get taken out by Taz, who is standing there with a 90. Oh, he's down to 27 HP already, has to pull back out of there to avoid being killed by the pistol carrying terrorists. They would be able to pick up his weapon and maybe do some more damage onto the defending CTs. Taz though with another P90 kill onto the terrorists and now it's clear where they come from. They get hosed down by Pasha. And ESC win the second round on DE Mirage. Sprint Fox decide to save another round. Lord with a spray down in middle gets two. Gets the third with a pistol. Yes, he sees the deal. Cuban with another two frags. Really fast round. Sprint Fox just wanted to get on with the gun round and they are now able to buy up. It's EC versus Sprint Fox. And now it's gun time. We don't see an orb at the moment none of the teams picked it up but Cuban and Neo get pushing into middle really early trying to check out what the terrorists are up to they couldn't see anyone in that occasion but the terrorists just pushed into middle after the CTs decided to go back to B EC might be a little clueless at the moment. So is the auto director. Nothing happening so far. Pretty silent on the map. Sprint Fox is working on their setup. Looks like an A attack from three different angles. Lord Tass and Pasha already curious, pushed really far into the A main entrance. Taz now got flashed. Neo pushes out a flash as well. Lord takes down the first. Daniel answers back onto Pasha, makes it a 4v4. 
Tess with his P90 takes down Robin and Law takes down Major to make it a 4v2 but the terrorists are able to plant the bomb and hide away at bomb spot but Cuban comes in from the side takes down Danielson who was with the bomb now Chantex is the only one standing for Sprint Fox and he gets pushed after he, after he revealed his position and got taken out easily by Neo who tries to give the AK to one of his teammates but they already had all the different rifles that they want to have ESC with four rounds in the lead versus Sprint Fox Sprint Fox are able to buy out because they planted the bomb and we've still no orb in play as of yet Chantex got spotted in middle still pushes into side of A <coughs> the CTs with a different setup now they don't really push that far into the terrorist area no rotation Neo in a nice position though to spot the terrorists as soon as they decide to go B and he might be even able to call for his teammates onto A that he can't see or hear anyone over at B some spray happening at the moment little damage gets into Taz there through the box Chantex was the lucky one to secure the frag there he opens Taz, uh, he opens the bomb site but Pasha closes him down and Lord is the next player to get two kills. He finally gets taken out by Major who is the last one alive now. Pasha only got two HP. It's a 3v1. He might secure this round if he goes huge. Pasha, as I said, on low HP. Probably a free kill by Cuban. With a spray through the box. Takes him down and... ESC take the fifth round as well. Let's take a quick look at the scoreboard. Lord and Cuban with a few really big rounds combined on the top of ESC with eight frags. On the other hand, Danielson with only three frags. Actually, Sprint Fox only had four kills so far in five rounds. That's not really what you're looking for as a terrorist. You at least want to run down the economy, uh, the <laughs> economy of the CTs by taking out the weapons. As you know, it's expensive for the CTs to buy their M4s. Terrorists are still able to buy without any flashes or smokes whatsoever. They enter bombsite A and they actually get two kills in. They get four in and it's a 3v1. Neo is the only one alive for ESC. Amazing round for Sprint Fox. They went for the bombsite without flashes and nades and still managed to take it. And even plant the bomb. Neo on the retake though takes down. I believe it was Danielson. I didn't read. Neo on the bomb side now looking for the remaining players, but they are all hidden away. And just waited for him to get to the bomb <coughs> to pick up <coughs> the easy kill. Now Sprint Fox is trying to get into the game. Danielson on the top. Maybe he can get them going. Make them win the next round. And ESC might have to save. Uh, they probably gonna go for a mixed buy if they lose that one. And the terrorists are setting up in middle. Little 
little spray happening in A. Not too much as of yet. Neo pushes short with Cuban just to take a look into middle and the terrorists rotated towards B. Good timing by Neo and Cuban to get back onto the bomb site to defend that. There's still smoke in the B apartment so the terrorists won't push through that. But now the smoke is cleared. They are able to storm but Chantex gets flashed heavily. Cuban with the first frag into him. Neo gets taken out by Danius and Cuban now with a frag onto him. Lord is on the rotate. Taz in window room. It's a 2v3 at the moment. 2v2 at the moment. Taz takes down Robin to make it a 2v1. And Major is still in B windows. Gets flashed. They know where he is. They know where the bomb is. And the time is running out. The CTs win that round without having to kill the terrorists. <coughs> a good advance for the terrorists, but unluckily they lost the battle on the on the bomb site. Neo now with the first orb of the game versus another save round of Sprint Fox. Only Major able to save his AK. And Neo is far away from that action. He probably won't get any kills out of that round. Major is yet again the last one standing. He tries to get away with the AK. Maybe take out one or two players of ESC. But they are surrounding him already. You see Neo is circling around him. Into the spawn apartment. So is Cuban and he's got Lord in front. Pash as well. They all spray away and he gets killed in the end <coughs> by Pasha, who is second on the scoreboard for ESC. Cuban still on top with 11 frags. And Gentex with the first orb off Spin Fox takes down Pasha early on in the round. Nice opening frag into middle. But he still has to find Neo with his orb. Neo is on B with it. Chantex is looking down middle, securing short. While Neo is now going window room, he aims up towards where Chantex sits. Chantex takes the kill on to Cuban and he might even take down Neo as well. He slightly misses him, but it was more of a timing factor than aim. Lord though kills the cover that is Robin for Chantex and he has to go back into the CT spawn area, uh, the terrace spawn area. Neo with a frag onto Danielson, now Chantex knows where the orb is, but Neo swiftly switches to the M4 and Lord and Taz combine with two frags onto Chantex and t -Sack in middle. Taking out two players and Major is the only one alive. He's on a bomb site. The bomb is covered by Lord and Neo with two orbs actually. <coughs> Got two orbs versus one AK. And they know where the bomb is. Lord's positioned nicely to cover it and Major tries to save his gun in which he's successful. ESC with their 8th round. Only 6 to go in that half and Sprint Fox really have to step it up. As soon as they can they probably lose that round as well because they need to save but maybe they will be able to get another two rounds out of that half time to at least survive the piss round if they should lose it and they are going for an A push all in 
with the pistol, Pasha with the opening frag onto Major. Really easy to collect that frag. Robin picked up the AK off Major and he's still alive but he can't get any frags out of that AK. Lord gets taken out by Danielson. But that's not gonna be enough. They aren't able to kill more than one or two players in the rounds that they lose and that obviously isn't running the economy for ESC down and Pasha with a frag onto Zack. Another round on the back foot for Sprint Fox. As I say that, Danielson answers back onto Pasha with his own orb and levels the amount of players on both sides back to four. Terrorists are still to make an advance, a decisive advance at the moment. They are slowly poking into the B direction. <coughs> Cuban and Windows catches some of the action. Probably hears the steps of the two players in the underpass. Now tries to get the frag in there, but Robin was surprising him from the box. Taz has to switch position now, secure window room but it's all smoked up and he's unaware what's happening behind that smoke just assumes that they go B Neo probably heard the steps already and got the call out to his teammates Lord is very far away but Neo and Taz combined with two frags make it a 2v3 temporarily now it's a 3v1 only Danielson and the AK are standing Neo takes him down with his third kill in that round making it 10 to 1 for ESC this doesn't look good for Sprint Fox now they storm through the smoke pass has got two frags, Major helps him and has even got his third frag would theoretically get four if Major didn't pick up the team kill there Gentex is the only one standing he gets killed by Cuban in the end another well unproblematic round for ESC at the moment and Neo's head is shaken by that quick round he even picked up the taser. And they obviously have enough money. As I said, Sprint Fox isn't able to get a decent amount of kills into ESC, so they stack up the money like the Bank of Swiss. Pasha gets a little cocky, pushes out into the window room too far and gets taken out by a nade. Lord though is there, Neo is there as well and they push into the, oh nice shot by Danielson, they push into the container and Cuban takes him out from behind, uh, Lord takes him out from behind I should say, Cuban just had the assist in that situation. Sprint Fox goodbye this time and they did so full nade setup full armor and the normal AKs Major misses that nade and ESC decide to push forward into the T's Lord with some spray can't really get the frag now collects it only 3 HP left onto him Risky move, but Danielson is down to 4 HP as well. Running around half life. Sprint Fox now decides to get back towards A. 
They have three CTs waiting for them. And Danielson is not much of a force. T-Sack gets killed by Taz. So is Robin and Danielson. Taz with three kills on the A entrance. Way too easy for him to shut them down on that attack. Lord even is able to get another frag with his 3 HP. And this is the last half, uh, the last round of the half. Sprint Fox was only able to pick up one round so far. They don't look that strong at the moment versus ESC. Pressure scopes up the middle ramp. Zack is about to push into A, but Pasha with amazing timing onto him gets the opening frag. Lord takes the second frag. Danis and down to 10 HP already. T is a free kill at the moment. It's a 5 on 2 in that last round of the half. Robin and Danielson versus Cuban Taz, Pasha, Lord and Neo. Robin is now down to 7 HP as well. Two zombies versus the rest of ESC. Robin was able to get a frag but he got taken out by Pasha's pistol and Sprint Fox has to rely on to Danielson who got spotted by Pasha. And he obviously didn't see Pasha there. He got pushed from the other side as well and finally goes down to the orb. 14 to 1 is the halftime score. Convincing action by ESC, Taz and Lord and Pasha with 16, 15 and 17 frags. Neo got unlucky, they barely attacked B. Mostly went A and went for the straight pushes, who were relatively easy to dispose of. Now we are live with the second half and the pistol round. The terrorists decide to go B. Full on. No CTs there. Robin is on short, gets taken out by Neo in a second. Yes, even though he had some trouble and needed the help of Pasha, he got the frag nonetheless. Now the CTs have to retake the bomb and they get killed one after each other. Neo with a nice headshot here from the corner. This pistol round ends without ESC losing a single player. Well played by ESC, secure the 15th round and Sprint Fox have to outplay them in every single round if they want to stay in that match but I think this match will be over shortly the terrorists are headed towards B in a rush Gentex gets killed after taking down Cuban so it's still a 4v4 the odds are against Sprint Fox even though Major got himself an SMG he gets killed by Neo and his P90 so is Zack, Robin already calls GG. And he's probably right. Danison still tries to make a stand, but Pasha takes him out, and ESC win that match versus Sprint Fox.